I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back Alright everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here and oh my goodness we are here with Randy Orton going after John Cena backstage. Oh boy. Well, we've got quite the episode for y'all uh, as we see here with Randy going after John, which is interesting to see in NXT on Monday Night Raw attack, you know. Seems like NXT is on the offense now, which is quite interesting. Of course we saw Walter taking out Kevin Owens not too long ago. And yeah. That was a whole situation and a half. But tonight we have a women's money that qualifying matchup between Natalia and Dakota Kai to look forward to. Beth Phoenix explains herself and her actions against NXT GM Christina Bennett. And of course, in the main event, we have Big E versus Edge in a men's money bank qualifying match. So that's all good and exciting. We got four episodes to go until we get to the two night event known as WrestleMania. It's going to be great. Uh, we're gonna separate them by nights. I don't know how many. Ep I don't know how many episodes gonna be in total until I actually sit down, right? Because you know, there's stipulations. There's different match types. You know, those things to iron out, right? Right. So there's that. Also, go right ahead and vote in the survey slash. You know, go vote for the 2K22 Universe Mode Awards. And just to kind of clarify on those, uh, those are based on my universe mode. They're not what happened in real life NXT, just in this weird corner of the internet known as my universe mode, which is approaching 100 episodes. I'm hoping that this is out tomorrow slash Friday, because I'm recording everything on Thursday night, or at least as much as I can anyway. I still got plenty of nighttime left. It's only 8 o'clock. We're good. My hope is that I can just build some momentum to actually film the rest of the regular episodes so I can just concentrate on WrestleMania and hopefully get as much of that film this weekend as possible because, again, we don't know what's going we, we just, to... We just don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen with 2K23 just yet. It's, it's very up in the air, but I'm very determined to at least continue to do universe mode until then, which is great. And, of course, we'll do our own little universe mode for... Everyone's favorite 2K23 once that eventually gets, you know, announced and that sort of thing. I'm going to assume that they're kind of going to use the same timeline as last year, but who knows, right? Right. But oh my goodness, Randy Orton is just getting attacked by John Cena right here. The STF is locked in. Y'all, next Friday is Friday the 13th. It's going to be great. <laughs> That'd be funny if that's when WrestleMania starts on this channel. Because I'm thinking this is going to be up on Friday, and then... I guess people like the double uploads on Saturdays, because some people are in it for the reaction, some people aren't, and I totally get that. So we're going to try to do a double upload tomorrow on Saturday with the reaction video and universe mode. We're, we just crank out as much as we can at this point, because we've, we've got a lot of ground to cover. And once we get to WrestleMania, then I can really sit down and, you know, go through everything. And of course, like, we're not going to be 100% sure what's all going to happen until we film Wrestlemania, but I've got a general idea as to where I want things to go. I think. It'll be it'll be fun. It'll be really fun. And that's if, well, I mean, I got more time on my hands now, so I mean, you know. And it's winter, so I'm going to be less inclined to really go that much. Slash go really that really anywhere. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the AA connects on Randy. We're back to the shovel. The now sort of infamous shovel. We had the infamous forklift in 2K22. Now we've got the infamous shovel now on, on 2K22. And John Cena holds off Randy Orton here. Boy oh boy, what a what is what an explosive start to the episode. So, let's get to the first match, shall we? I think so. 
All right, everyone, here we go. We've got our first match of the evening. Of course, we still got to hear from... Uh... Oh, wait, I forgot to put on the announcer audio. Love that for me. <laughs> that was a goof on me, y'all. I'm sorry, not sorry. Whoopsies! <laughs> Well, you'll see that I had to mute it for a little bit to, like, you know, film part of this video. So, I mean, there's that. Either way around, we've got Natalia out here. She's about to take on Dakota Kai in a Women's Money Bank qualifying matchup. So that's exciting and fun. Of course, we've got a Fatal 4-Way ladder match, both for the men and the women, for the Money Bank briefcases and that sort of thing. So that's all fun and exciting coming up at WrestleMania, right? Right. Let's get started, people. Let's keep things moving along. And here we go, y'all. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a very bright screen. Here we go, people. We've got Dakota Kai making her way down to the ring now. It's going to be quite interesting to see who wins here tonight. The winner of this matchup will be joining Dana Brooke and Liv Morgan, and then we'll find out who will be the last person in the matchup over on NXT coming up in the next episode. It'll be between Trish Stratus, Kaylee Ray, Asuka, and Carmella. So that's all fun and exciting, right? Right. And then coming up also on NXT... We've got Shayna Baszler versus Candice LeRae in an Extreme Rules match. Of course, Shayna and Bailey have been having their issues with the way. So, that, that should say it all, right? Right. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Natalia right off the bat with some strikes, or a strike, I should say. Singular, not plural. Into the corner. Again, I'm trying to will myself to, like, record all four of these episodes tonight. I got no shame. Not at all. So I, I know it's going to take me a little bit to edit this video because of the moving pieces involved, but, you know, it's not, like, that bad. It's just a matter of, like, it's going to take a couple extra steps to get there, and that's okay. It's worth it for y'all. Because I, and, and I have fun with this series, right? I'm like, if we can get to... I want to see how many episodes we can really get to... But if we've at least crossed 100, or approaching that way anyway, then we're on the right track. Huge power bomb right there from Natalia to Dakota Kai. Oh, Natalia walking right over Dakota Kai right there. Huge kick. Huge stomp. And Natalia now going in for the submission with the chin hold of sorts. Again, I'm not a trained professional athlete. I'm just describing what's on my screen. Huge strikes right there from Dakota. Dakota up to here. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, huge kick. Another huge kick and sort of a knee. Oh, no. She got the arm in the corner. That's not good. Natalia, of course, is submission specialist here. So, obviously, utilizing the arms would be important. I would think. Noticeably cooler tomorrow slash Friday. Well, no kidding. It was just 60 degrees a few days ago. It was like I think it got up to like 40 something today, slash Thursday. Yeah. It got to. Hang on a second here. Yeah, the high for today was like 49 degrees here. Oh, what a move right there from Natalia. So by the time that we get to today, which is Friday, it's supposed to go down like 10 degrees. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's January. We're going into something a little bit more seasonal now. Here we go, Natalia, speaking of it. Oh, there it is. Oh, but those arms were kind of damaged earlier, but it's not slowing the tally down. Dakota Kai somehow escapes. And I literally mean somehow, because I don't know how you would escape that, unless if you just kept rolling over towards the ropes or something. But Dakota Kai mounting a bit of a comeback of sorts with the kicks right there. Dakota Kai now going in for the cover. Could this be it? And Natalia kicks out. Quite a lineup that we got so far. Dana Brooke, of course, having a very promising showing from the get-go, right? And then, of course, we've had Liv Morgan qualify. Dakota Kai now looking to qualify herself. Oh, that's it, y'all. That's got to be it for Natalia. That has got to be it. 
And that is it, and Dakota Kai qualifies for Money in the Bank. The captain of Team Kick puts away Natalia in pretty decisive fashion. So that's all fun and exciting. And here we go, Dakota Kai winning this match up here tonight. What a huge match. This is going to be at Women's Money in the Bank and that sort of thing. Oh boy, what's Dakota doing? She's turning her back around. Oh no. What is she doing? Oh, she's got a chair. Oh! Oh, Jesus. She almost got the referee. Yeah, lo look at how much control Stephanie really has on this show. Good, good going, Stephanie. But speaking of whom... Uh, well... I mean, look, it's the, it's the general manager stuff, right? We're going to hear from Beth Phoenix in just a moment here about her attack on NXT general manager Christina Bennett and the big betrayal that we saw not too long ago here on the channel. All right, and here we go, everybody. We are here with Beth Phoenix making her way down to the ring right now. About to explain why she went after NXT general manager and her protege, Christina Bennett. Everybody keeps asking me why I attacked NXT general manager Christina Bennett. How could I, her mentor, the one who helped her get into this business, the one that helped her have that one final match before her early retirement betray her? The fact of the matter is one word, respect. Christina Bennett, you never showed me any respect while I was on NXT. You never gave me a rematch for my title. You made me jump through hoops to get a title opportunity. It seems to me that you and these people don't know a single thing about respect. Christina Bennett, you don't respect me. If you did, you might still have me and Edge on your roster, and that's why I joined Monday Night Raw. Stephanie respects her roster and her show. Meanwhile, Christina brought me out of retirement to further her in-ring career and her show. Christina needed me much more than I needed her. Which is why it's fitting that Stephanie requested a match. Beth Phoenix versus Christina Bennett at WrestleMania. If Christina Bennett loses, her WWE career is over. I helped bring her out of retirement, and now it's only fitting that I put her back into it. Oh my god, everybody. That's, that's huge. Beth Phoenix versus Christina Bennett at WrestleMania. If Christina Bennett loses, she has to retire. Alrighty, here we go. People, main event time of episode 97. We are approaching 100 episodes. I'm just, I'm excited. I have no shame. Okay, look. Our longest series, I think, went to like 80-something episodes when we were doing The Sims. And then it went to like possibly 90 videos in total for one of the two guys. It had to be up there. It had to be a long, it had to be a while ago for at least a universe mode series. It, it's got to be there, right? Right. But look who's right behind Edge. Is anyone surprised at this? Totally not a coincidence. Totally not. It looks like Edge and Beth Phoenix made the jump over to Monday Night Raw together because, well, both of them were fed up with that XT general manager, Christina Bennett. That makes three total defections at the very least. We had, of course, Dolph Ziggler, and now we've got Edge and Beth Phoenix. Oh boy. This, things are heating up as we get closer and closer to WrestleMania, everybody. It, it truly is. And I'm excited that y'all are here for the ride and that we get to go to WrestleMania together. I'm hoping that WrestleMania is, early, is out as early as next week. That's what I'm hoping for anyway, but you never know. I'm trying to get through the rest of the first, you know, these last few episodes leading up to WrestleMania and that sort of thing. I forgot to turn on the announcer audio because <laughs> I was like, y'all saw. I was like trying to mute the entrance for good old Beth Phoenix. See, we try to do one nice thing and then we forget to turn things back to the way that they're supposed to be, right? Right. But that's okay, we've got Edge versus Big E in a huge main event matchup right here to determine the next participant in the Money in the Bank, the ladder match on the men's side of things. We'll at least know who's going to be on the Raw side of things. We'll find out who the NXT side is, or who's going to be on the NXT side of things. Literally on episode number 100, okay? We're, we need to do something for episode 100. We need to, like, bake a cake or something. Anyone down for cupcakes? Because that sounds... Well, I mean, we're not going to make 100 cupcakes. You know, maybe we'll get some icing or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll do something cool for episode 100. Or at least, you know, at least a photo or something. We've got to do something for it, you know? Just like we need to do something for next week's SmackDown. Since it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> totally fitting, I think, right? Right. Oh, boy. Well... 
Y'all, this episode has had a little bit of everything. It's had some action. It's had some drama. Beth Phoenix versus Christina Bennett. If Christina Bennett does show up, if she's cleared, the match will happen. Because remember, Beth took her out a few weeks ago. So who knows what's all going to happen. I'm excited to find out what's going to happen. But Edge right here has Beth in his corner. Big E with the strike. Oh! Huge running drop kick attempt right there from Edge, but Big E ducks out of the way. Edge with the counter against Big E right there. Huge drop kick right there from Edge to Big E. Huge jawbreaker right there from Big E to Edge. I probably sound super tired or disinterested, and it's like, interestingly enough, you know, not too much sleep, but you know what? We're, we're feeling pretty refreshed. I mean, to be fair, I did eat some food before I started filming. So, there's that. And I cleaned the apartment a little bit. Well, actually a lot. I, I really cleaned the apartment tonight, which is still Thursday. By the time this is out, well, at most it's spot cleaning. <laughs> Y'all are never going to believe this, but I, we're going to talk about this a little bit more in our reaction video, but I found a solid black, like, puzzle on Amazon, and I kind of want to get it. <laughs> you know, because of the pitch black match, right? Right. The only problem is that I, my coffee table is 26 by 26 and a half, and the puzzle's like 27 inches wide. I'm like, You're, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Everything's fine. We'll cross that bridge when we get to that point. But either way around, we got Big E stomping away at Edge right here. Okay, if you just heard that, my apologies. I had an itch spot, like where my head, where my headset is. Oh, Edge missed ducked out of the way from Big Splash from Big E. Edge is building up that momentum slowly but surely. Huge move right there from Edge. And Edge, of course, well, that was his own fault. He kept losing matches all the time, so I don't know what he was going on about. Beth Phoenix, so they were playing hot potato with the NXT Women's title. I don't know what else to say about that. Well, Christina Bennett's not here to defend herself, so, you know, sometimes you gotta, like, you know, give everybody the info that they need to make a decision and that sort of thing. Right, right. And speaking of decisions, go and vote in the official That Variety Nerd Universe Mode awards. I don't know when we'll... I don't know if we're going to do a video, if we're going to mention it at the beginning of a video or whatever, but here we are, kids. Here we are. I haven't decided <laughs> we're going to announce it yet, but they'll be announced. It could just be a community tab post, it could be a video, I don't know, we'll have to figure it out somehow, some way, right? Right. But a huge stomp from Big E right there to Edge. And Big E's got the chin lock on Edge. Oh, and Edge. Oh! That's gotta be it for Big E, everybody. That's gotta be it. And Big E made it to, I believe he made it to the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament, I believe. He made it to the semifinals, of course. Actually, no, he made it to the finals, I think. Because I think, yeah, he made it to the finals. It was Big E versus um, Shinsuke. So, that's all that happened there. Just like that spear. Oh, that's it for Big E, everybody. That's got to be it for this dude. And Edge moves on to Money in the Bank. And, of course, Edge lost that Money in the Bank briefcase to Robert Roode, who is now the current United States champion. And he'll be defending against Machine Gun Kelly. So that's all fine and dandy. But it looks like Edge... He's picking up some wins since going to Monday Night Raw. And I'm like, dude, did you just need a change of scenery? If so, you could have just said that instead of, like, just running wild. But now that we've got Edge and Beth Phoenix together on Monday Night Raw, oh boy. And Beth's got the career-threatening match with Christina Bennett. And which, if Beth wins, Christina Bennett has to leave WWE and all of her positions with general manager position and being the in-ring, occasional in-ring competitor. There we go. That's the right way we're going to word it. So we're going to have to see what happens, but Edge will be joining Karrion Cross, and the men's side of things is shaping up to be quite interesting. So we're going to have to see what NXT does coming up in a couple episodes time, but we got a bunch of stuff coming up, y'all. We're getting down to the wire. We are getting down to the final three episodes of Universe Mode before WrestleMania. Now, what's going to happen after WrestleMania is to be determined. I've got some ideas in my noggin. It's just a matter of filming WrestleMania, which I'm hoping to do this weekend. I think that's more than reasonable because it's supposed to be... I know Sunday is going to be super rainy out there. 
or at least fairly rainy anyway. I mean, it's raining right now, which is why I'm in here filming a bunch, which is fine, because I like to go on my nice little evening stroll, you know, through the neighborhood and that sort of thing. But yeah, basically, let's see here. Okay, well, we have an alert day on Sunday, which means that's probably going to be crazy. So, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, temperature-wise, looking the same, so I'll probably film one or both of those days. But look, there's so many matches to WrestleMania, we're going to need a couple days to film at least. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. Apologies again for the stream of consciousness and all the confusion with the awards thing that we've got going around and that sort of thing. It's been confusing. And you know what? That's okay. We're here for the ride. We're fixing things and getting things done. And speaking of getting things done, let's wrap up this video. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.